within Mass uh, Workers' Center, National Mobilization Against Sweatshop, part of the SWEAT Coalition. So SWEAT, securing wages earned against theft. That means wage theft. No more. No more. And we're here today because we want to call on our state elected officials, Governor Cuomo, Senate Majority Leader Stuart Cousins, and Assembly Leader Feasty. This is the time we've got to pass sweat. There are only like eight days left uh, yeah, no, in the legislature, <laughs> the session. Oh, no. We don't have a whole lot of time. And it's time already, way past, to stop wage theft. What is happening right now? Workers are working so hard, right? We're working hard, our families are struggling, especially during this pandemic. So why is wage theft still raging through our communities, throughout this state? Why are we not getting the basics? We're just talking about, we work hard, we should get paid, right? It's basic. We, and we're talking about minimum wage, overtime, we're talking about the basics. But right now, what's happening is that the minimum wage is not for real in the lives of many of us. People aren't getting minimum wage, aren't getting overtime, because the law is not enforced. If the law is not enforceable, right now, it's like the Wild West. It's lawless land. Right now, there are so many unscrupulous employers who are taking advantage of the current system, the, the loopholes in the law. And so what happens is they steal wages from us with impunity. And then they get away with it. They get away with it because the law right now allows them to steal wages, shut down their business, open up under a new name with the brother in front, hide the assets, transfer assets to a family member, and then say at the end of a, of a case, even when a worker wins a judgment in court or a decision in the Department of Labor, no money. He says, I'm poor. So this is what sweat is intended to fix, to make it, that this cannot happen anymore. Because these lawless employers, they're the bad apples. They're the ones who are stealing our wages and making it hard for law-abiding bosses be able to compete. What they're doing, these bad apples, they're gaming the system. They make fun of the court system. They don't even show up in court sometimes. And when they do, we've seen them lie right in front of the judge and say, oh, these aren't my workers. These are volunteers. They give false payroll records. This is how they get away with it. And so that's what we're saying, no more. This is a crime. This has got to stop. Wage theft of all the theft crimes put together in this country, wage theft amounts to war. That is criminal. And it's criminal that our state, New York State, is not taking it seriously. So right now, that's why we're here today to call on Stuart Cousins, Feasty, and the governor to make it possible for Sweat to beat law. And this way, we will join other states, you know, like Maryland, like Wisconsin, and then just recently, Washington State. They all passed wage lien laws. And it's helping workers, it's helping the honest businesses. Now we have um, Senator Jessica Ramos. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Muy buenas tardes. ¿Dónde está mi gente? My name is Jessica Ramos. I'm
I'm from Jackson Heights, Queens, and I'm here until my neighbors get paid every dime they are owed. You know, earlier today, the New York State Senate actually passed my bill to remediate wage theft in the construction industry. My colleagues and I know how rampant wage theft is in New York, and we know that it's only gotten worse during the pandemic. When bad actors, bad employers have looked to cut every corner and take advantage of our most vulnerable neighbors, those who might not speak English very well, those who might be scared of law enforcement because their, uh, their status has not been adjusted here in this country. We know that a billion dollars in wage theft is a billion dollars that is uh, being kept away from feeding our children. It's a billion dollars in overdue rent. It's a billion dollars that belong not only in these workers' pockets, but in the small businesses that, that are in our communities, in our communities of color, in all of the five boroughs. So for us, passing the sweat bill again this year is critical. It's life-saving. And I'm going to ask my colleagues to vote for this bill one more time. And we're going to send it to the governor's desk one more time. And it better be the last time we send this bill to the governor's desk. We need the governor to take wage theft seriously in New York. Wage theft is not a game. It is about the livelihood of people who have put in an honest day's work and expect an honest day's pay. And if we're going to insist on living in this capitalist society, then it can't just work for the very few. It has to work for the many. It has to work for the immigrants. It has to work for every New Yorker in this state. Mi nombre es Jessica Ramos, soy de Jackson Heights, Queens, y estoy aquí luchando porque mis vecinos sean pagados cada centavo que se les debe. Y no podemos dejar de luchar hasta que de verdad el gobernador vea la importancia y la urgencia de pasar la ley de sudor. Hoy, hace unas horas, en el Senado pasamos mi proyecto de ley para terminar con el robo de salario en la industria de construcción que muchos de mis compañeros en NICE ayudaron con esa también. Esta no es ninguna excepción. El robo de salario hay que tomarlo bastante serio, porque si faltan mil millones de dólares en robo de salario, ese es dinero que le falta a nuestros hijos, es dinero que se le debe al alquiler, es dinero que falta para que nosotros podemos, podamos gastarlo en nuestros pequeños negocios, en nuestros barrios. Es nuestro dinero. Y nosotros vamos a seguir luchando, no solamente para pasar este proyecto de ley cada año en el Senado, sino que este sea el último año que el gobernador rechaza esta ley y que por fin la firme para que se vuelva eh, permanente y se vuelva un reconocimiento del trabajo de los neoyorquinos y especialmente de los, nuestros inmigrantes. Muchas gracias. ¡Vamos! ¡Escucha! ¡Estamos!